Hello everyone and join me on the video tutorial of how to make a webinar using Zoho Meeting platform. And if you want to see how it looks like at the end, you can join us on a free webinar, how to choose a CRM system. The link to the registration will be down below in the description box. And now let's set up our webinar and go to settings and see what can we change. First one, you can display user profile pictures. You can allow anonymous questions. You can make the sidebar your default video view layout, allow emoji reactions. You can allow live streaming on YouTube if you want to live stream. You can make the control panel visible only for the organizers, allow duplicate entry. And also, if you want to, you can enable auto recording of all webinars. But that's obviously basic settings. So let's go and create our webinar and see how can we customize it. So first of all, you have to name it, write a description, choose a date, the time zone. And also, if you're doing webinars regularly, you can make this webinar a recurring webinar. And now when we have all of these things filled up, you can also choose a duration of the webinar. You can choose less than an hour or even a few hours and then click on next. And next step is adding co-organizers. This is a cool feature for those who want to stream on YouTube, especially because the basic OBS software for live streaming doesn't allow you to easily add members to the live stream. And using Zoho Meet, you can easily live stream with more participants on YouTube. And they can also share their information, share their screen, share the presentation, take part in the discussion. They can moderate the chat and answer the questions. So they are co-organizers of the webinar. The next step is registration setup. You can choose a webinar with registration or without, and you can also choose the fields for the form that the attendees have to fill in. And there are some additional settings. For example, you can allow only business email address, allow registration only with authorized domain, allow access to join link only through mail. You can also allow or deny registrations from specific countries. Here you can see the example of how we denied access to the webinar to members from Russia and also allow only authentical Zoho users if you need that setting. The next setting is engagement. You can share session materials with attendees or you can create polls. For example, a poll, will you attend this webinar? Yes or no. Next setting is customize emails. You can choose whether you want to send an email due to the registration of the attendee. You can also set a reminder 15 minutes before the webinar, 10 minutes before the webinar, or five minutes before the webinar, or all three options. And you can also choose an email who will be the sender of this reminder and confirmation of the webinar emails. And also except for reminders and confirmation letters, you can also send follow up emails, for example, thank you email two minutes after webinar to those who attend and thank you email to those who didn't attend the webinar. The next setup is preferences. What we did in settings, you can do directly from here. For example, allow attendees to ask questions, allow anonymous questions. You can also customize the recording, for example, enable session recording and video recording and others like using emoji reactions and post webinar redirection if you want to redirect the attendees to a website or any kind of page. And the redirection process is very easy. You can just click on the checkbox and now you can insert the link on which you want to redirect the attendees. For example, a contact form if you want them to contact your business after the webinar. And the next step is promoting the webinar. You can promote webinar on Zoho campaigns, for example. You can send the registration link or you can already copy the webinar invite link. And the best thing is adding the source tracking. So for example, you want to create different links for different social medias to see which social media is the most effective one 
of promoting this webinar. So you can see the name of the link and also you can see the visitor count and registration count. So some social medias can have more visitor count but less registration count and the opposite. So you can see which social media is the best one to promote or for example you can leave the link on the website or any type of source and you can name it however you want to track where and which source brings you most attendees to your webinar. And now let's click finish and finish the setup of our webinar. You can see all of the information right here. You can scroll down and again change some settings and also you can copy all of the source tracking links if you need them. You can find easily find all of the information right here. And now let's see how the registration page looks like. So here you can see the name of the webinar, obviously, the description to it, the date and time. You can also download a mobile app of Zoho Meeting if someone needs it. And you can also open up a QR code that will open the webinar. After you register, you can see this page and you can add this webinar to different types of calendars. For example, Zoho Calendar, Google Calendar, Yahoo, Outlook, and also you can download ICS. This feature is very handy in my opinion because it will help your attendees not to forget about this webinar that you're hosting. After the registration, you will receive the confirmation letter and also before the webinar starts, you will find the reminder in your inbox too. And this is how reminder letter looks like. And now when we registered by the link from LinkedIn, you can see the visitor count, registration count and also total registration count to the webinar. And now let's see how the actual webinar looks like. Let's start from the Q&A. All of the attendees can ask questions in the Q&A sidebar. You can make this feature anonymous questions or you can enable the to see who asked the questions and you can answer them. You can also add polls, for example, do you hear me during the webinar to make sure that everyone hears you correctly. And now let's see what actions you can perform with the attendees. You can disable or enable them to talk, make a presenter, make a co-organizer or remove the attendee. During the webinar, you can invite more attendees and you can also manage the co-organizers, mute them, make them a presenter or make them an attendee. During the webinar, you can also start screen sharing or you can share some materials like a presentation. Here you can see again the polls and the Q&A, so you can send the emoji reactions and let's see what you can do more. There is the preferences that you can choose, again, change the layout of the video, you can change the audio and video setup, go live on YouTube, you can change the network performance, you can go to picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can change virtual background if you're recording yourself, you can enter full screen or you can stop recording yourself. After the webinar finishes, you can view the analytics of how it went. You can see all of the attendees that attended your webinar, the polls, the questions that were asked, and you can generate a full analytic report that you can download. As you can see, Zoho Meeting is perfect for creating webinars and live streaming on YouTube. And in both cases, it is very easy and very convenient. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And again, if you want to see how Zoho Meeting works with webinars, make sure to register to our webinar, free webinar, how to choose a CRM system. The link to the registration is down below in the description box. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button.